morning, everybody. So today's topic is 12 tissue remedies or biochemic system of medicine. So today, why I choose this topic as a uh, biochemic system of medicine or also is called as a 12 tissue remedies because particularly in the practice, you will see this homeopathy, जैसे ऐसे रहता है कि एक जैसी विचारधारा रहेगी तो दो पक्ष एक साथ में जैसे आते हैं वैसे होम्योपैथिक प्रैक्टिस के साथ में बायोकेमिक सिस्टम के भी प्रैक्टिस करने वाले बहुत सारे प्रैक्टिशनर्स हैं सो मेनी ऑफ द टाइम्स इन प्रैक्टिस होम्योपैथी एंड दिस ट्वेल्थ इश्यू रेमेडीज आर गोइंग साइड बाय साइड इवा अलोंग विथ इच अदर ऐसा उनका प्रैक्टिस uh, का मेथड रहता है तो उसका रीजन एक ऐसा है कि दैट इज द थेरी ऑफ डायनामाइजेशन दैट थेरी ऑफ द डायनामाइजेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन होम्योपैथी एज वेल एज इन दिस बायोकेमिक सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन सो टुडे आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस ट्वेल्व टिश्यू रेमेडी और बायोकेमिक सिस्टम इन वेरी सिंपलियर वे इज वेरी वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस एवरीथिंग विल बी क्लियर देर विल नॉट बी एनी डाउट बट यू कैन आस्क डाउट आफ्टर द सेशन ऑल्सो एनी टाइम सो वॉट इज द प्रिंसिपल और वॉट इज दिस थेरी so dr william schuzler who discovered this 12 tissue remedy in 1873 but before that our master dr samuel hanuman divined the great importance to this inorganic salt as a remedial agent through the investigations into their therapeutic use by knowing their pathogenic effects so with proving of the lime potash silica they pointed that these inorganic salts that is the 12 tissue remedies are the vast store of the medicinal forces although apparently inert in their crude state means kya hai wo jo inorganic salts hai wo unke normal nature mein in inert rahegi but after dynamization you can increase their medicinal forces and you can use as a treatment part so what is the theory of dr schuzler's biochemic method so this method or this uh, biochemic system particularly based on the physiological fact so this is very important that both the structure and vitality of the organ of the body are dependent upon certain necessary quantities and proper proportion of its in uh, sorry organic constituents these remain after combustion of tissues and form the ashes now there will be one question biochemic system of medicine why is called as the 12 tissue remedies or 12 tissue medicines because dr schuzler found that these inorganic salts so after combustion of the body in the soil or in the ashes that these 12 salts remains inert in the form that's why they used or they prepared particularly 12 tissues not 11 nor, nor 13 so that's why this is the 12 tissue remedy or biochemic system so you got it so what is the physiological fact that is the both the structure and function of this your uh, body cells or body tissues if that organic constitute constituents are in the proper amount in proper proper functioning Uh, that health is maintained so then what is the constituents of human organism so organic part of the human organism or organic part is what that is the blood so blood containing the material for every tissue and cell of the body which gives nutrient to every organ enabling to perform its individual function so what is the organic part so organic part of body is sugar fat albumin in the blood while water lime salts like potash lime iron silica is in the inorganic part so you, do you understand this so what is the basic physiological theory that is the need of the structure and vitality of the organ that organic constituents are important now in that organic constituents means which that is the blood water plasma these are the organic constituents 
So in that organic constituents, what you will get? There is the inorganic part. That is the salts of uh, potash, uh, lime, iron, silica, like this. So if that everything is in equilibrium, then health is maintained according to the biochemic system of medicines. So in homeopathy, we say that no, normal or equilibrium state of the vital force, that is the health. You just uh, remember this. Hmm? Vital force, equilibrium or organized vital force in human body is nothing but the health. Now we'll see what do you mean by the disease, what do you mean by the health and what do you mean the cure by the biochemic system of the medicine. So very simple, very simple. That is the health by the biochemic system of medicine is normal cell metamorphosis. You got this. So normal cell metamorphosis. So what happens in the normal cell metamorphosis? So that is the, by the process of digestion of the food or drink. What happens when you eat? That goes for the digestion. So when there is a digestion, that forms the blood. And that blood that supplies nutrients to the body or every cell or tissue of the body. And health is maintained. So normal cell metamorphosis is the health according to the biochemic system of medicine. Now, what is important is the disease because we have to treat the patient. We have to know the diagnosis. We have to know the condition in which condition or in which that condition that will apply these medicines. So for that, you should know the disease or what is the concept of the disease. As you know, Again, by the method of the homeopathy is what Jomen Abibola, what do you mean by health? That is the normal functioning of the vital force or normal organized vital force means health. So what is the disease? According to this biochemic system of the medicine that the inorganic constituents, these the basis of organs and tissues of the body maintains the integrity of structure and functions of cell. So when, see, very important sentence, when any disturbance in the molecular motion of these cell salts, that is inorganic salts, caused by deficiency in these inorganic salts in requisite amount cause the disease. You got it? So what I mean to say, so what do you mean by disease? So, Jo inorganic constituents hai, jo inorganic constituents are the base for normal structure and functional integrity of your cell and tissue. Jab un inorganic salts ka disturbance ho jayega, so that disturbance in which form? That disturbance in the molecular motion. So this is very, very important. And wo molecular motion disturb hone ka, what is the cause? the deficiency of these inorganic salts that producing disease. So simple way is what? That deficiency of any inorganic salts causing disturbed cellular, uh, disturbed molecular motion of these inorganic salts produces the disease. Do you understand? Now, what is the theory behind this homeopathic principle and the biochemic principle particularly? This important is See, when there is the deficiency of these inorganic salts, what they cause is that disturbance in the molecular motion. Now, can you see the molecular motion? No. Can you see the vital force? No. So, this is the dynamization or this is the dynamic theory. You cannot see the vital force, but you see the expressions. Same thing, you can see the normal digestion, normal respiration, normal cell metamorphosis. You can identify or you can name that, but you cannot see that disturbed molecular motion. That's why this molecular motion is in which form? That is in the dynamic form. So deficiency of these inorganic salts producing this disturbed molecular motion causes the disease. Now, what do you mean by the cure? As a homeopathic system, homeopathy may homeopathy ka medicine diya to cure. But what is the way of preparation? that medicines are potentized. So what you do is you are increasing the medicinal force of that material or that drug and then that day becomes the dynamic and this dynamic medicine will act for that dynamic deranged 
vital force that is the deceased do you understand this so what is the cure by the uh, biochemic system of medicine administration of these inorganic salts in minimal potentized dose favors the cure simple thing administration of these inorganic salts in minimal potentized dose favors the cure now my question is why there is need to potentize this inorganic salts because suppose if there is a deficiency of the natromure so natromure ka deficiency hai to we can give directly natromure na will uh, say to tata uh, company that data salt ki you prepare medicine like this or you prepare salt like this because we can use as a biochemic uh, way of prescribing so but no why that tata salt is in which form that is in the crude form that's why you cannot we cannot use that how you know that deficiency of that tata salt is there by knowing the expressions expressions of that deceased condition particularly to so, natrium ka deficiency hai to tumko aise symptoms dikhenge ki ye yes these are the symptoms of the natrium so you think ki yes iska natrium ka deficiency hai to we have to rectify by giving that natrium more in potentized form 6x because jo medicine hai natrium if you consider so if natrium you will potentize so it, that becomes the dynamic so what dynamic medicine will act on that dynamic deranged molecular motion do you understand then and then only that will uh, act so that theory of dynamization is again important in biochemic system of medicine so do you understand what is the health health means normal cell metamorphosis that means health by the biochemic system of medicine what do you mean by disease that deficiency of any inorganic salt in requisite amount produces disturb molecular motion of this cell salt producing disease and what do you mean by cure administration of this inorganic salts in minimal potentized dose favors the cure so this is the very simple meaning or definition of health disease and cure now what is the dose dose of this uh, uh, particularly biochemic system of medicine so this 12 tissue remedies particularly prepared by the decimal scale but is, uh, in the beginning i just told you that dr hanimman previously know the importance of this inorganic salts as a therapeutic agents so that time dr hanimman also proved many inorganic salts so ferrum falls they proved that ferrum in uh, liquid potencies or in dilutions do you understand so same salts of the lime potash dr hanimman proved that that is these inorganic salts are the basis of that producing the or maintaining the natural integrity of cellular and functional integrity of the uh, tissue and the cells but here that dr schuzler found that that universal recommendation of potency 6x is best to treat this disease by the way of biochemic system of the medicine that's why this 12 tissue particularly prepared by this decimal scale so what is the preparation see that 1 gram of crude drug with 9 gram of sugar of milk so by the way of trituration that becomes 1x to understand 1x so again 1 gram of that 1x added with 9 gram of sugar of milk trituration 2x so we have to go up to 3x 6x 12x up to 200x so as the so that uh, scale increases that 12 6 12 30 200 so that way of potentization is increasing but universal application of the dose is 6x why 6x because in 6x you will get both the things so you give, you will get that material also but that material in the potentized forms so in the 6x you can identify yes ferrum for 6x is there so you can know that 6x is this is the ferrum iron or this is the ferrum for iron that you can see this that's why this is the universal recommendation is the 
six six. So what is the repetition? Repetition in the acute or in the chronic cases. So you can repeat this biochemic salts or this twelve tissue remedies every ten to fifteen minutes till the patient feels better. So you, if you have seen that uh, biochemic pills, that's actually not pills; these are in the tablet forms, a uh, small tablets. So three, so four goli, day me three or four bar. This is the dose in the chronic condition. So particularly if there is the anemia, so for anemia, ferrumphos is the drug. So ferrumphos six x. So three tablets or four tablets, thrice or QID for a day for long term. So for fifteen days, one month, you can use. So this is the best way of using this. So in acute, suppose there is the severe abdominal pain. So macfos is the medicine, magnesium phosphoricum. So macfos six x, three to four tablets every ten to fifteen minutes till that pain subsides. So you can use. So you can use up to one or two hours. Means six, seven, eight doses you can give. So this is the repetition of dose in the acute and chronic things. Now, what are these twelve uh, salts? So you just, uh, I will just name this. So first, uh, define that the five phos. So calcareous phos, kali phos, ferrum phos, natrium phos, and mac phos. These five phos. So that becomes the five phos tonic. Actually, this is called as, as a nerve tonic. So this is the five phos. Then remains calcareous sulf, calcareous fluor, kali sulf in fluor that kali uh, substantiated with the mur. So calcareous sulf, calcareous fluor, kali sulf, kali mur, and two remains natrium mur and natrium sulf. So you got this. And one more salt is. Totally different from other is the silicia. So this is the twelve. So for remembering these salts, this five phos and one silicia. So that becomes six and two 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 of calcarea, kali, and natrium. So calcarea sulf, calcarea fluor, natrium mur, natrium sulf, kali sulf, kali mur. So these are the twelve salts. So another very important point is. How you know the action of these cell salts and their expressions? Ki how that disease forms or that disturbs cells? Iska theory aisa hai jo Dr. Schuzler ne diya ki jo inorganic constituents of the cells in the body which has its action action on these cells when any of these cell salts deficient means kya in the nerve cells? So if you consider the human body. That cell or the tissue that particular that nerve cells containing what macfos, kalifos. Then in the muscle cell you will normally found kalimur, macfos. In connective tissue of the cell you will get silicia. In elastic tissue cell calcarea fluor. In bone cells calcarea fluor or calcarea fos. Means what? Suppose now in the bone cells if there are the calcarea fluor and calcarea fos is there. So these are the inorganic constituents of these bone cells. So if that calcarea fluor or calcarea fos is deficient, so what problem will cause? Usme fever nahi aayega. They will cause what? Any bone deformities or any bone problems. So kya bone problem hai? So osteoporosis rahega, osteomalacia rahega, deficiency of that calcium rahega, kya? Delayed sutures of the anterior or posterior fontanelles rege, or delayed suture of the anterior fontanelle rega. You got this. Or if nerve cells, macfos or kali kalifos, kalifos, nerve cells, me hi kalifos present hota hai. So suppose so deficiency of kalifos, what what it will cause? That that will irritate or inflame the nerve cell first. So particularly if you see the nerve cell, so brain का जो nerve cell है, वो अगर बहुत irritated irritated हो गया, so that will cause condition is known as brain fag. That can be brain fag. उसकी वजह से maybe sleeplessness. So one top power of the nerve cell, so best medicine is what kalifos. So do you understand this? कि जिस inorganic constituents of salt, cell salts, which has its action on these cells. When any of these 
सॉल्ट आर डिफिशियंट सो बॉडी के पार्ट में जिसका डिफिशियंसी है वो डिफिशियंसी होने के बाद जो पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी इज ओनली अफेक्टेड और रिलेटेड टू दैट सो बोन सेल्स में रहेगा तो बोन सेल्स के एलिमेंट्स रहेंगे इलेस्टिक टिश्यू का रहेगा तो इलेस्टिक टिश्यू के एलिमेंट्स रहेंगे मसल सेल्स का रहेगा तो यू विल गेट द ऑल द मस्कुलर स्केलेटल डिसऑर्डर काली और इन दलीफॉस so the next part is the vast research and analysis shows that this 12 tissue salts are constituents of many of our well known and crude homeopathic remedies of vegetal kingdom now see this is again very very important part in the beginning only i told in the practice this homeopathic system of the medicine and biochemical system of the medicines they are going side by side see because in practice we can use this 12 salts very efficient so i think this is the uh, for beginner or uh, beginner beginner practitioners this is the bread and butter so only with biochemical of system of medicines you can practice because it has wonderful actions only the thing to know the theory to know the exact action to know the disturbed part so disturbed molecular motion ki wajah se which disease is forming or what is the way of forming that disease so you can think of that and you can administer that medicines so this is very fantastic medicines so that's why i'm saying ki uh, beginners means practice jab shuru kar rahe ho to immediately homeopathic treatment dena lagta nahi ki ekdam easy ho jayega कि अरे एक्ट में क्या करेंगे क्रॉनिक में क्या करेंगे दिस इज द लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एक समझता नहीं है क्योंकि ये टीचर ने ऐसा बोला था वो टीचर ने ऐसा बोला था दिस स्कूल ऑफ होम्योपैथी से लाइक यू डू लाइक दिस और सबसे पहले क्या है रिजल्ट आना रिजल्ट आना चाहिए बिगिनिंग में क्या होता है एकदम वी आर वेरी इंथुजियास्टिक टू प्रैक्टिस द होम्योपैथी और वो होम्योपैथी का प्रैक्टिस करते टाइम ध्यान में क्या आता है कि अरे इसमें तो ये मेडिसिन लग रहा है उसमें तो वो मेडिसिन लग रहा है केस तो एकदम सिंपल एक्यूट रहता है लेकिन वी कोज विथ मेनी डायरेक्शन और दैट मे कॉज सम डिस इंटरेस्ट डिस इंटरेस्ट इन द पार्ट ऑफ वॉय अगर रिजल्ट नहीं मिला पेशेंट को तो ऐसा लगता है अरे क्या करेंगे रिजल्ट तो नहीं आ रहा है इतना मैंने देख करके देखा इंटरकरण दिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल दिया कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री दिया क्योंकि ये सभी मालूम रहता है फाइनल तक जब जाते हो तो ये सभी एकदम पूरे दिमाग में बैठ जाता है कि अरे दिस वे ऑफ वे टू प्रैक्टिस नो सिंपली यूज हनीमानियम वे जो दिया है व्हाट इज द टोटलिटी दिस इज द वे टू प्रैक्टिस सो साइमल्टेनियसली अलोंग विद दैट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस द बायोकेमिक और ट्वेल्थ टिश्यू रेमेडीज इसमें अच्छा कैसा है ट्वेल्व सॉल्स आर फिक्सड बारह से ज्यादा आपको दिमाग लड़ाना नहीं है लेकिन क्या मालूम चाहिए बारह में से जिसका जिसका इंडिकेशन है वो तुमको मालूम चाहिए कि ये कैसा वेन टू यूज इवन इन सम टाइम्स यू कैन यूज द ब्लाइंडली कैसे है सपोज एक खादा पेशेंट आता है कि अरे दिखता है मीन्स सात आठ साल का लड़का है एकदम बोन्स एंड वेरी प्रजाइल उसका कंप्लेन ये कि पैर बहुत दुखते हैं एकदम लीन थीन ऐसा है लग रहा है कि एक इसमें कैल्शियम डिफिशियंसी दिख ही रही है लेकिन कैसा रहता है एज वी आर होम्योपैथ नो हम किसी को कैल्शियम सिरप नहीं लिख के देते अरे डोंट गिव कैल्शियम सिरप लेकिन तुम्हारे पास कैलकेरिया फॉस तो है सो यूज दैट कैलकेरिया फॉस दिस टाइप ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दांत आधे टाइम तकलीफ हो रही है दांत केरीज दिख रहे दिखने के बाद सात आठ साल का लड़का है एक बोन्स एकदम दिख रहा है कि पैर दुखना मदर या पेरेंट्स बोलते हैं कि इसके पैर रात को इतने दर्द होते इतने दर्द होते है क्या करे सो दे गिव सम एनर्जेसिक एंटीपायरेटिक लाइक ड्रग्स so instead of if you have that with hand calcareous phosph you can give this then very important problem tumhare opd mein jitne log aayenge if you are uh, practicing in the urban i don't know ki kitne patient rahenge but if you are uh, practicing in the rural area the out of 10 i think 8 patient of you will get anemia 
दस में से आठ पेशेंट को तुमको एनीमिया नजर आएगा यू जस्ट सी दिस दिस इज नॉट एनी सर्वे और बुक में नहीं लिखा है लेकिन दिस इज माई द एक्सपीरियंस कि दस में से आठ लोगों को एनीमिया की वजह से ज्यादा से ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम रहते हैं सो नाउ हाउ टू ट्रीट दैट एनीमिया so any i don't think any constitutional homeopathic medicine immediately that will increase the hemoglobin percentage no i don't think but this time if you have calcarea fos or ferrum fos in your hand you can use because in literature they have given so what is the action of the ferrum fos so ferrum fos increases the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood so blindly you can use that ferrum fos in the anemic patient what is the indication of the calcarea fos so giving the calcarea fos is nothing but to replacing the rbcs that is directly given by dr shuzler so that is again given in uh, given to that anemic patients what is calcarea fos so do you understand this so if you have these conditions immediately you can prescribe this cell salts bukhar ke patients kitne aate hain ha fever if that fever is is of inflammatory type so which is the medicine for first stage of inflammation ferrum fos so blindly you can give any fever ka patient hai na chalo kuch nahi samajh mein aa raha hai na kya dene ka give ferrum fos so wo chhota rahega ya bada rahega ferrum fos will work very nicely because that is the indication in the first stage of the inflammation no side effects no any aggravations so this type you can use Even abdominal colic. So abdominal colic के भी कितने छोटे बच्चे रहते हैं या in adults also. Sometimes in the dysmenorrhea. And in dysmenorrhea, I have used this salts many of the times. Means regularly I am using macfos. जब period का time रहेगा, जब तुमको तकलीफ हो रही है, जब पेट में दुख रहा है. So take that macfos six eggs, four pills every fifteen to twenty minutes till the pain subsides. और कितने patient का मैंने देखा है कि after two to three hours only with the macfos that pain subsides pain of dysmenorrhea so it has wonderful results so califos so califos particularly for the brain fag so any nervous condition jisme neend nahi aa rahi hai bahut thakan mehsoos ho rahi hai there is over exertion mentally as well as the physically aisa agar patient rahega to you give your constitutional no doubt jo homeopathy ke de do but along with that you can use califos like drug which is in your hand musculoskeletal disorder ke to kitne patient aate hai idhar dukh raha hai udhar dukh raha hai this type means that is the only you can think of rheumatism so for this rheumatism you can use what kalimur kalimur is the salt you will find in the muscle cell so this is the best medicine to treat this type of the pains musculoskeletal disorders then natrum self asthma so for asthmatic condition suppose due to damp places jaise tumhare paas tel camera hai tel camera hai antm tart hai so uh, uske sath mein so you can think of the natrum self in any cough ailments or any childhood asthma hai ya asthmatic trouble aapko dikh raha hai so best way to give natrum self now the last part just i told कि आफ्टर द डॉक्टर शूजलर ओनली आफ्टर द वास्ट रिसर्च एंड एनालिसिस शोज दैट मेनी ऑफ दिस ट्वेल्व टिश्यू साल्ट आर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ मेनी वेल नोन एंड प्रूड होम्योपैथिक रेमिडीज ऑफ द वेजिटेबल किंगडम सो वॉट यून बाई मीन दैट दैट मीन्स फेरम फॉस सो फेरम फॉस ये जो सॉल्ट है सो ये सॉल्ट किस में मिल सकता है इन विच वेजिटेबल किंगडम सो दैट इज इन द चाइना इन द रोमेक्स इन द बर्बेरिस वलगरिस इन द फाइटोलेका अगर उसका रूट्स उसका स्टेम और उसका फ्लावर्स इफ यूल टेक इन माइन्यूट क्वांटिटी यू विल गेट द फेरम फॉस सपोज कैलकेरा फॉस इन द चाइना और कोलोसिंथ रूट यू विल गेट दैट कैलकेरा फॉस सो सी सो एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग ऑफ दिस homeopathic system and administering of the biochemic systems so there is one very nice sentence at the end of that dr shuzler's uh, tissue remedy is so dr william shuzler admits this so what they admits yes 
that few of this vegetable uh, medicines or vegetable kingdom proved homeopathic medicines these roots or these plants contained in minute amount of this either ferrum phos or this calcarea phos or natrum sulf also so they admit this so they says that disturbed molecular motion of inorganic salt showing itself as disease is rectified by biochemistry directly see listen carefully that disturbed molecular motion of inorganic salt showing itself as disease is rectified by biochemistry directly by the administration of homogeneous substance where it is rectified by homeopathy indirectly by administration of heterogeneous substance now this is something difficult for first or second year students to understand the ki what is the homogeneous system uh, sorry homogeneous substance and what is the heterogeneous substance so dr schuzler want to say this particularly by homogeneous way means what that is by giving suppose there is a deficiency of the natrum so giving that natrum mure in potentized form directly or suppose there is the deficiency of the ferrum phos producing anemic condition so giving ferrum phos in potentized form by biochemical way is by which way that is the homogeneous substance so which is the homogeneous substance ferrum phos so ferrum phos is the homogeneous substance you are indicated for the anemic condition so what is the heterogeneous way so suppose if anybody think of ki giving this china in the potentized form so using china in potentized form is the way of using this china why what is this that is a heterogeneous substance so how that become heterogeneous substance that heterogeneous substance means china containing that ferrum phos in minute amount so if you will potentize china now you cannot potentize china in biochemical way no so method of the china is you know uh, that to, by, by homeopathic potencies so giving china or that cinchona bar is a heterogeneous substance while giving ferrum phos is a homogeneous substance so you understand that understood ki that's why dr schuzler admit this so what they admit this ki after research ki that this 12 tissue remedies or these inorganic salts are also the constituents of many of the proved homeopathic medicines of vegetable kingdom no? so disturbed molecular motion of the cell salts which producing the disease is rectified by biochemistry by using this inorganic salts by ho administration of homogeneous substance and same is rectified by homeopathy by using the heterogeneous substance do you understand this so this is the very basic principle of the biochemical system of medicines now i think i have tried to explain it uh, very simplified and uh, don't go only for the academic purpose because what happens in the second year i think there is the 10 mark fixed question by chemical system of medicine or 12 tissue remedies so don't go only for that academic purpose this will helpful you for lifetime what is the only thing is you should know this 12 salts now you do the homework take that 12 salts each salts jiska inorganic constituent constituent hai jiska hai body mein cells ya tissue ka usme se jis jiske jiske elements aayenge you just wrote down that so wo agar if you wrote down that automatically you will get that ki ye jo hai to that means this salts is indicated in this but calcarea fluoride so calcarea fluoride particularly indicated in the hard nodosoids to dissolve this hard nodosoids aisa hai so this is because of the disturbance in the molecular motion of the calcarea fluoride iski wajah se hai so calcarea fluoride kis kis mein ja sakta hai so difficult dentition mein use ho sakta hai osteoporosis mein ho sakta hai osteomalacia mein ho sakta hai even in the fractures and if there is the non union or mal union of bone so again you can think of this calcarea phos or calcarea fluoride so this will give you the easy directions for the prescribing 
and that will be easier to practice only with the biochemic system of the medicines because shuru shuru mein kaise aata hai ki itne homeopathic drugs 2 3000 hai to usme se syllabus mein i think only covered uh, 200 300 so out of syllabus ke bhi kuch medicines se that is also useful in the practice so ye sabhi kaise ho jayega so best way kaisa hai there is the limited scope limited scope but vast uh, presentation so limited scope किसकी लिए ओनली ट्वेल्व टीशर्स वास्ट स्कोप किसके लिए सो मेनी डिसीजेस यू कैन थिंक ऑफ दिस ओनली डोंट गो फॉर एनी डीप सीटेड पैथोलॉजिकल में है वगैरह उसमें कैसे देंगे सो दैट इज द वे ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज देर आर द ड्रग लाइक कैलकेरा सेल्फ कैलकेरा सेल्फ ऐसा एक ड्रग है विच इज इंडिकेटेड ऑल द एप्सेस लाइक कंडीशन or when there is the abscess which removes the abscess or which checks the secretions when there is the formation of vent is the indication of that particular medicine calcarea sulf so i have used that medicine one case of the osteomyelitis osteomyelitis ka ek patient tha tibia this bone particularly pura hole hua tha wo bone ke andar pura there is the purulent discharging from that bone so सभी एलोपैथिक हो गए एलोपैथिक के डॉक्टर ने तो एंटीबायोटिक वगैरह उनका कोर्स दिया था आफ्टर गिविंग दैट एट डेज ऑफ द एंटीबायोटिक्स आल्सो दैट पर्टिकुलरली बोन इज डिस्चार्जिंग सो मच मच ऑफ पस सो दैट टाइम आई यूज्ड आई हैव रिमेंबर दिस दैट दिस इज द केस आई थिंक आई हैव ट्रीटेड इट टू 10 इयर्स बैक सो आफ्टर गिविंग दैट ए डोज ऑफ कैलकेरिया सेल थर्ड और फोर्थ डे बोर्ड फोर्थ डे दैट डिस्चार्ज डिसअपीयर्स एंड दैट slowly slowly that wound heals and that osteomyelitis gets cured that's why uh, in the last part i just to say this is a very good medicines only the thing is you should use this you should have the experience of this and then you see the results means kaisa hai ek bar aap dekh ke dekho ki kya hota hai you will take one year lekin ek saal ke baad agar tumne ye zyada se zyada logon ko diya then you will get the experience yes after giving ferrum fos or calcarea fos without jisko iron tolerate nahi ho raha hai aise patient ko agar ye diya to are uska hemoglobin percentage bad raha hai you can do at your opd level also you just check the hb percentage give this calcarea fos and ferrum fos in repetition for one month two months and after that you just see the hemoglobin level directly that will be the ct confirmatory test whether that hemoglobin is increases or not and don't go only with the one person take the 10 20 cases 20 30 cases give that calcarea fos ferrum fos in anemic conditions and then see the results so if you will get out of ek 30 patients ek 20 22 ka agar itna acha bad raha hai so this is the best thing i think so this is the best thing so we have to actually uh, very pleased to have this type of medicines or this biochemic system of medicines or 12 tissue remedies i think this is sufficient for you to know everything about the homeopathy along with this biochemic system of medicine because explaining the, this biochemic system of medicine or this 12 tissue remedies homeopathy will come as usual because uska jo theory hai homeopathy ka maine pehle hi bola vicharadhara same hai विचारधारा की वजह से जैसे दो पक्ष एक आ सकते हैं वैसे विचारधारा मीन्स क्या है थियरी ऑफ डायनामाइजेशन ये डायनामाइजेशन दोनों में इज मच सिमिलर दैट्स व्हाई अलोंग विद द होम्योपैथिक सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन यू कैन थिंक ऑफ द ट्वेल्व टिश्यू रेमेडीज और द बायोकेमिक सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन एज ए पार्ट ऑफ द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन आई थिंक दिस इज द सफिशियंट फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर एंड थैंक यू फॉर पेशेंसली लिस्निंग माई लेक्चर थैंक यू थैंक यू वंस अगेन